Good evening, I'm Adrian Gobriel. It's a date we will never forget. July 22nd, a lone gunman walked along the Danforth on a warm summer's evening, killing two and injuring 13 others. Today, the SIU released a report, and for the very first time, we're learning about the deadly path shooter Faisal Hussein took and his interaction with police. Tonight, we take you for a walk in their footsteps. The time was 10 p.m. when the first 911 calls first started to come in for shots fired here near the Pappas Grill at 440 Danforth Avenue. The SIU report specifically references this video that was shared extensively on social media. It shows Faisal Hussein, dressed in dark clothing, walk towards a busy restaurant and fire three shots. The 29-year-old continued walking west along Danforth Avenue until he arrived here, about 300 meters from the Pappas Grill at Bowdoin Street. Hussein then walked through this alley just off Bowdoin, south of Danforth. At 10.06 p.m., two Toronto police officers driving northbound here on Bowdoin in their police cruiser encounter Hussein right here on the west side of the street. He's standing on the sidewalk when he opens fire towards Seven Numbers Restaurant. Stay off the road. The two officers emerge from their cruiser with their weapons drawn. Hussein fires at them. With the cops, quote, fearing for their lives, the officers exchange fire. One takes cover behind the police cruiser where he fires at Hussein, but the bullet hits the rear window of the squad car, shattering the glass. These photos released in the SIU report show where the police cruiser came to a stop on Bowdoin Street. Two evidence markers show where the shell casings were located just steps from the squad car. This photo from the west-hand side of Bowdoin show where five shell casings were also found. A few minutes later, separate Toronto police officers found Faisal Hussein's lifeless body right here on the sidewalk on the south side of Danforth, right outside of the Danforth Church. The SIU report confirms the 29-year-old took his own life. For the first time, this picture of the black Smith & Wesson 40 caliber handgun Hussein used has been released. It lay beside his lifeless body, along with two fully loaded handgun magazines and a magazine holder. Now in another court document also released this week when police found Hussein's body here on the sidewalk. His phone was ringing in his pocket. They pulled the phone out. It was a call from his home. The officers answered the phone. It was his parents on the other line. 